hello dear students so in the last lecture we discussed about the analytical function what is analytical function how to approach the questions of analytical function as we know very well that analytical function is that function which satisfy the cauchy riemann equation any function any complex function is said to be analytical function if it satisfy the cauchy riemann equation means ux is equals to vy and uy is equals to minus vx then that is called a analytical function right now let's have discussion on few more get problems based on the analytical function this is a question which <laughs> has been asked in get 2017 and the question is if fz is equals to x square plus ay square plus iota bxy is a complex analytical complex analytic function of z is equals to x plus iota y where iota is equals to root minus 1 then we have to find the value of a and b let's approach it guys it's a very good question how we will approach it's already given in the question that the given function is an analytical function and we have the complete function means we have fz is equals to u plus iota v from here we have real part also real part of z which is equals to x square plus ay square and v also that is the imaginary part of z which is equals to b x y so here we are having real and imaginary both the parts so we know very well any function is said to be analytic if it satisfy the cauchy riemann equation it means my function is will be analytic if it is del u by del x is equals to del v by del y for the function del u by del x is equals to del v by del y and and del u by del y is equals to minus del v by del x right so we have to satisfy these two conditions we have real part also which is u we have imaginary part also which is v let's find ux uy vx and vy and then then just put the values in the cauchy riemann equation so when we put the values in the in the cauchy riemann equation it will be dear students it will be let's approach to u the u is equals to x square plus a y square let's find a del u by del x which is called u x which is equals to 2 x only let's find a del u by del y which is equals to u y which is equals to 2 a y only right this is the derivative with respect to x this is the partial derivative with respect to y now clear guys now let's approach to the v we have imaginary part also v so let's write down v is equals to bxy let's find del v by del y first del v by del y will be b x only and let's approach del v by del x it will be b y only we know very well when the cauchy riemann equation satisfy means the function is an analytical function then ux is always is equals to vy right so these are two quantities should be equal and these it co two quantities should be equal with the negative sign that we know very well right now approach it from here we can approach 2x is equals to bx guys yes x and x will be cancel out from here we will get b is equals to 2 isn't it yes exactly similarly when we have b is equals to 2 we can put the value here it will be 2 ay is equals to minus by yes y and y cancel out b is equals to 2 already you are getting so a is equals to minus 1 my dear students why because when you put here 2 a is equals to minus 2 2 and 2 will be cancel out hence you will get a is equals to minus 1 so that's why your answer will be a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to 2 which you can see easily dear students a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to 2 which we can see in the option number b for bombay clear so it's a very good question these type of questions can frame in the analytical function concept also as we discussed that there are there are only and only two possibility of uh, of a question can frame in analytical function the first is either the real part is given to you you have to find the imaginary part with the help of cauchy riemann equation you can approach and with the help of options you can approach <laughs> right which we discussed in the last lecture the second form is this one if if some uh, if suppose you have <coughs> sorry <coughs> suppose you have complete function fx right complete function fz 
and you have to find some unknown quantity which written in the in, in the given function fz just like here we have here complete function fz means we have real part also and imaginary part also but here are definitely some unknown things or some missing terms are here so we have to find those terms clear guys so it's a very simple question to approach it's easily approachable now let's come to the next question this question has been asked in get 2016 Consider the function fz, we are having a function fz, z plus z star where z is a complex variable that we know very well and z star denotes its complex conjugate, the, uh, conjugate can be denoted by z bar also and z star also right. So which of the following is true, we have four statements, we have to find which of the following statement is true. The first is fz is both continuous and analytic, second is fz is continuous but not analytic, third is fz is not continuous but analytic, fz is neither continuous nor analytic. So let's approach to the function what we have, we have function fz is equals to z plus z star or you can write it z plus z bar which is nothing but the complex conjugate. The bar is nothing but the complex conjugate dear students, yes. So when we approach here z plus z bar what it will become let me write down when we approach here it will become what dear students when it add uh, we know very well any function is analytic any function here we have to check analytic only na, right any function is analytic if if Cauchy Riemann equation satisfy that we know very well any function is said to be analytic if a Cauchy Riemann equation satisfy if for the given function Cauchy Riemann equation satisfy then only we can say dear students that the function is an analytic function okay so let's let's approach the function clearly fz is equals to we are having z and we know very well z is a complex variable means which is equals to x plus iota y hence when we approach to the z bar or z star it will be x minus iota y as we know very well the complex conjugate is nothing the complex conjugate is nothing but just just with the sign change right it means uh, in, in any any complex numbers we have when we have to find out the conjugate of that one we will always change the sign of the imaginary part only right means we will always opposite take the opposite sign of imaginary part so here so here uh, we have fz is equals to x plus iota y right so let me write down here x plus iota y plus x minus iota y you can see imaginary part is cancelled out hence you will get fz is equals to 2x dear students you can easily approach that fz when your fz is equals to 2x means here we don't have any imaginary part for any function has to be analytic we have to satisfy the Cauchy Riemann equation means ux is equals to vy and uy is equals to minus vx it means for the Cauchy Riemann equation or for the CR equation there should be real part exist and imaginary part exist but here you can see only and only real part is exist you can see here we have only and only real part and imaginary part is equals to zero right when imaginary part is equals to zero it means the derivative of that part is also is equals to zero so definitely it will not equal so we can conclude the function is 100 percent not analytic right so hence we can say the function is not analytic you can write down hence it is not analytic dear students right okay so when it is not analytic it means it means clear we have how many options we are having which not analytic okay now the second thing we are uh, with the question is having about that the function is continuous or not when you see dear student the function fz is equals to x it's an simple algebraic function it's an polynomial so it's definitely continuous which we learned in the mean value theorem that any algebraic function or polynomial is always a continuous function so definitely 2x is a continuous function but it is not analytic that we proved already so it's a continuous function but it is not analytic which we proved right now okay guys right so it's again a very good question to approach okay now let me write down one more question which is again a very good get a get question and that question has been asked in the get examination 2017 right get it's not get it's engineering service exam 2017 question ESC 2017 question let me write down the question for you what is the value of m what is the value of m m 
for which the function for which the function means 2x minus x square plus my 2x minus x square plus m my or my square 2x minus x square plus my square is harmonic now this is a this is a question which actually asked from the harmonic function right is harmonic right and we have options also we have options also 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 1 minus 1 2 and minus 2 so what we are having exactly we are having a function that is okay and which is harmonic we have to find the value of m right <laughs> so it's clearly mentioned that the uh, uh, for which value the function is harmonic we have to check we have to identify for which value the function is harmonic uh, sim simple form in simple form you can write down suppose the function is equal to phi and we have the function phi is equals to 2x minus x square plus <laughs> m m y square right as we know very well any function is said to be harmonic if it satisfies the laplace equation right so we can conclude it's harmonic it's harmonic when when it satisfies laplace equation now what is the laplace equation as we already told you that if the function is f then it is del 2 del 2 f by del x 2 plus del 2 f by del y 2 is equals to 0 if the function is u del 2 u by del y 2 del 2 u by del x 2 plus del 2 u by del y 2 is equals to 0 here suppose i have function f phi sorry so del 2 phi by del x 2 plus del 2 phi by del y 2 is equals to 0 it means here i have to find the double order derivative Ex exactly here i have to find the double order uh, double order derivative of this one right so first of all we will find out the, the single order derivative then we will find out the double order derivative and when we when we put it equals to zero automatically we will get the function the value of the unknown quantity m so let's approach from here what is the function phi phi x or phi is equals to 2x minus x square plus m y square let's find that first order derivative partial order der partial derivative with respect to x it will be 2 minus 2x right it will be 2 minus 2x when we approach here del 2 phi by del x 2 it will be minus 2 only guys yes exactly right when we approach it will be minus 2 2 minus 2x minus 2 let's find the derivative with respect to with respect to y also so when we find del phi by del y it will be 2 my when we approach again means del 2 phi by del y 2 it will be 2m guys yes exactly we are having so we know very well if if it's a, a harmonic function it means it satisfies the the laplace equation it means it satisfies definitely this equation let's put the values here only so when we put the values here it will give us del 2 phi by del x2 plus del 2 phi by del 2 phi by del y2 is equals to 0 let's put value here it will be minus 2 it will be plus 2m is equals to 0 when we approach here 2 is equals to 2m minus 2 is equals to minus 2m minus and minus cancel out 2 and 2 cancel out hence we will get m is equals to 1 so we can conclude for m is equals to 1 the given function is harmonic we can conclude dear students for m is equals to 1 the given function will be harmonic only right